I have intentionally I have written a program. Okay, intentionally I have written a program. That is salary is nine of five. Sal one is nine of five. A is S nine of four. Sign there is a positive and negative value. Point one. So now I accepted integer data. Then I accepted again integer data. So this is signed one. This is normal integer. So I accepted name. I am displaying three variables. Whatever I accepted. Then I am doing a calculation with the W salary, which is uh, without any sign. Unless it's a positive value. There is S W S A. It is a signed value. So we are doing a calculation and storing the result in W S L one. Now we will see whether we will get the SOC seven or not. So I will compile this code. So I compile. We got a max is zero. Now I am going to the run this here. I am submitting. We got SOC seven. So when we get the SOC seven, if somebody asks in interview. What is SOC seven? How to fix it? What are the scenarios you faced it? Okay, I'll try to answer all of them one by one. So SOC seven mainly it will come when you are doing a calculations with the integer data. Okay, so there are multiple compute statements are there, or multiple multiple calculation statements are there in your program. So each calculation statement that is called expression. Should have both sides of the operator, number only, digits only. Means, so here we are doing a addition. This is the calculation. So before plus it should have the integer data. After plus it should have the integer data. Okay, it should have the integer data. If by any chance if that is not an integer, so there are high chances to get the SOC seven. This is the point one. Sock seven, nothing but. So it is. We are trying to do a calculation. Our program is trying to do a calculation with the invalid numeric data. This is the one. So in real time, did you face it? How 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 you got this error? So you say that. So I am reading the data from file, doing a calculation. Okay, with the file data. So if the from file we are getting that data may not be exactly integer. It might be invalid data, so obviously we will get it. How file is going to have the invalid data? In real time, you might be getting the data from other system, from Java or other technology. So you might be getting the data from other technologies or from other mainframe system. So when the data is coming from different location, so the data might come properly. May not come properly. If everything it comes properly, our program will execute. If the file data is not correct, if it is not a valid, if the whatever we are getting, the data is not in the right right approach, right is it's not a right data, then we will get the error. So basically, from where we are getting the data, so that data is not right proper proper way it is not there. So because of this reasons. You will get the SOC seven. So this is I created small program I accepted to explain what is SOC seven. But in real time, so how SOC seven will come when you are processing the files data mostly. So whenever you are processing the files, that time only you will get the SOC seven error. How from where data is coming? The data might be coming from different sources, from other mainframe system, from up system. Up system is nothing but From where we are getting the data, that is called up system. Okay, so or we might be getting other technology, Java and R. So, so when we are getting the data from Java to this one, so data may not populate properly in the files. What is SOC seven? Why we get the SOC seven? For these three questions, did you get the answer? Yes. Uh, yes, we did. Okay, fine. So now 
I'll go to the spool. First of all, go to the spool. See the sock seven, okay? Sock seven, sock seven. Give a question mark. Type six out. Now they will ask you, how do you fix it? That is the question mark, okay? So how do you fix it? How you will know? There are hundred compute statements are there in a Cobol program. How do you know which compute is giving an error? I'm repeating again. So there are 20 compute statements are there in our Cobalt program. There is only one. It's a small program. In real time program, you will be having 20 computes. Which one is creating a SOC 7? That we need to identify. Okay, they will ask how do you do it? That also I will try to give the answer. That is called you have to debug it. So the system detected. I don't tell why, what is the reason we are, for which reason we are getting the error, I don't tell. Explain with the solution. Okay, so system detected data exception SOC 7. Okay, for compile unit PCM24 at entry point PCM24 at compile unit offset value. So it got offset value, it got generated. Okay, some offset value generated. So step one. Okay, so once, once you get the SOC 7 what to do step two okay first you see whether sock seven you got or not yes we got the sock seven then so get the offset value last three digit or four digit okay so copy the last four digit of the offset value what is the first step copy the offset value from c out td statement so last four digit, last four characters. So it will vary. If you are running, the offset value is different. Okay. This is the one. I am pressing F3. So this is a done. Next, next step. Go to uh, previous compiler step. Okay. So R, I'll say that compile the program again. Okay, we don't know when it is compiled better to compile now so if after compilation if you executed immediately better you go to the previous step of the compilation before run execution we would have compiled go to that step or compile the program okay so compile the program again so i am doing that as i said i am compiling so why we are doing, I'll tell you. Go to three, go to this pool. So we need whether this offset we are able to find or not. So basically what I'm going to do, whatever the offset I copied, control C, open sysprint CL Cobalt DD statement. Open this DD name. Yes, this you will get after compilation. F space control V. Okay, so we can see no characters 0, 3, 8, 2 ops not found. So when and you can see there is a simple code. Okay, if I press F8, my code is there, that's all. Okay, there is no other stuff in this sysprint. So what I have to do. So I found after compilation, I tried to look for the subset value. I could not able to find and on top of it, only the program is visible in the sysprint. So there is a one option is missing. That I will add it now. Step three. So we need to add list. Okay, so we have to add list option. In para okay, in form parameter parameter which is compile step okay in compile step there is a form parameter if it is not there we can write it so then you have to mention form is equal list so this is uh, in real time we have to request the admin if you are having a 
access to modify the JCLs, well and good. If not, we have to take a approval or we have to take a, we have to ask them. So, uh, in this is the cataloged procedure, it is located here. In this PDS, my catalog will not the compiled JCLs are there. So, DSN Cobalt CL. So, what I okay, if I try to do modification in this particular catalog procedure, it will give an error thing, okay, because it's a master copy. So, better I will for explanation purpose, I'll keep in my local PDS. So, why I am because I don't have any rights to do modification in this PDS directly. This is because it's a master copy. So whoever using server, so it is going to pick the catalog procedure from here. So that is the reason they restricted that part. So MATRM dot May 2012 X C star. So I'll say Cobal CL same member IP. okay now since it is anyhow it's a cataloged procedure right so i can mention my own periods so in this periods cobalt cl is the cobalt cl is a correct or not yeah it is fine so what i was telling right add list option so palm lip comma add an option list okay so here if you add some uh, assembler code will come in the sysprint after compilation so i did it so what i did basically i added a list option in compile compiler step all right so i'll compile it now so there is no so once you add once add is done once you added compile the program again so we are compiling program with the list option now go to this pool uh, yeah sysprint cobra F8, 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 right. So you see, can you please see? Now this code got generated. Okay, earlier it was not there. So come down, come down, come down. So for each line, there is a corresponding code, a similar code will be generated. So we don't need to understand everything and you don't need to learn assembler again. So that is not required okay so now i will do this step f space enter can you see zero okay this is here is the offset value after that which line is there cobalt line 17 then 18 so now i can say that before stop run there is a display so before display nothing but six, 16th line okay 16th line is the error okay if there are multiple computers are there now we come to know on which computer there is error so can you see i will write 0 3 8 2 this is the offset value for this compute so error on this particular compute we figured out we found on which compute the error is there So any queries? We located the on which compute is the problem. Now, so why in this example we are getting team? I'll tell you. See what is the size of WSA four bytes. So, and we accepted that in run JCL you are supposed to give zero zero like that don't give 12 okay if you give 12 it might take a variable spaces or some other characters 
you will not take 1200 zeros or 1200. You will not take, it might take blank or something else. So, u, 0, 0, 12. That is the 1. At the same time, at the same time, what is the salary we are doing calculation? So we have to see this validation, okay? WS salary. So what is the size? Five months. Okay, since it's a five bytes, are we given five five bytes numbers are populated or not? We have to validate. So nothing. See, once you get the SOC 7, for debugging purpose itself, you have to go to the program. Okay, the SOC 7 needs to be fixed by changing the data, not by changing the logic. So slightly you may have to change if the program is wrong. If the program 100% is correct, then you have to re verify, test your, you have to check your data, how data is coming, how data is populating, and you have to debug it as simple as. So since I did not do any changes in the program, right? So I will run it. Now I got max zero. Now I will remove, say I'll remove zero zero, I'll make SOC 7. So palm is equal to list will not solve the SOC 7. It will help you to locate the where on which computer there is error. You can see. So, okay, it should give zero zero. Sir, there you have given this uh, display for the WSA, no? So uh, it will not show like what is the uh, value WSA got when it no, no, no. The it, will, okay. it will display what you given. It will not display what is there. What is taken? Okay. okay. It will not display what it has taken. It will display what you entered. That's all. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, so that's all about SOC 7. What is SOC 7 we have seen? How to fix the SOC 7 error? And what are the ways, I mean, why SOC 7 will come? Okay, so I have explained all of them. Any queries?